doing tonight? Smashed burgers and reverse seared steak. Mmm. And a little bit of greens. Yep. So. So I'm just making my meat patties. This is 80 20 fat. Just weighing them out to 70 grams each. Oh yeah, so my job is to get the tomato ready. Still got a little bit of um, charcoal from last time in here. This part's always a little bit messy. We'll do the steaks first because they need less heat, then we'll turn it up and then we can sear them. So we're going to do the reverse sear method. And then we'll leave it climbing for the uh, patties. They need the, the full-on heat, about 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Seems about right for them. And I think this wire grate's seen better days. Get another couple of cooks out of it yet. Came with a cast iron grate, but I like the extra airflow to get around this. This um, Samba lump charcoal has been brilliant. Look at the size of the freaking lumps in there. I've actually had to break some with the axe. It's really good quality. Case in point. Charcoal's too big. Some more normal size pieces. There's obviously always a little bit of dusty stuff in the bottom. So we'll mix it all up. Clear it to a pretty good, uh, pretty good mix, really. That'd be about right. Couple little bits in the middle. Those are the ones I'm going to light. I'll see you in a couple of minutes. Alright, I reckon that's just about, it was about four or five minutes. Happy with that. Right, put that lid down. Make sure I chuck that grate on there to sterilise. Chuck that down, open everything up. Start getting some of that air through. So, the way I like to do it is um, get this up to a little bit hotter than where we want it, and then I'll chuck in the um, divider here and um, let it sort of stabilise, sort of shut it down a little bit and let it stabilise and then we'll we'll do our cooking and then I'll open her up and we'll do our sear. We're not too far off, just uh, just over 250. Starting to get that old uh, runaway train thing going now. Won't take long. So we've got our 320. Um, the dome's nice and hot. Which is really good, so um, I'm just going to put that heat deflector in and we'll shut it down a little bit and let it stabilize then we can chuck those steaks on looks like we've got a good fire there oh, yep she's cranking away just nicely Let's pop that over there Do with the clean. It all adds to the flavour. Mm. Right. 
chuck that. Let me get back up to temperature. And we'll start shutting a few things down. Get a bit of the rust off. We haven't cooked on here for a little bit. I reckon we'll hoose them in there, eh? Fourteen degrees Fahrenheit. What we're looking for. We'll keep this on high for a little bit. Just try and get it uh, up to temperature. I'm dipping my finger in a bit of a special sauce for the smash burgers. Thank you to Guga Foods <laughs> for his um, <laughs> recipe. Oh, that's amazing. Good. Is that slightly different than normal? It's more tang. Got more towels, oh, it's got more mustard. Do you want less mustard? No, that's good. I like it. Okay. I shouldn't because I've got it at the perfect temperature, but I'm just gonna have a wee peek. Mmm. Oh, I love the smell of charcoal. So apparently we're looking for 114 internal temperature because they're quite um, thin in comparison to normal. I thought I'd check them now. Yeah, uh, Houston, we have a problem. They're ready for their sear. I haven't even got the right tongs out here. Bit of a disaster. I'll put them on there. Let's crank this baby up. Stick it on, dude. <laughs> flame got a little bit of Fractionally hotter, but I think it's pretty good. With that butter dripping down there, she certainly uh, gets into it. Smoky oh. <laughs> eyes. Smoky eyes. That one's the one that feels that one that will take this long. Oh, it's just going Kids don't do this at home. Flame in good time. Yeah. Flames are great. It's quite hard to see because my eyes are looking at the, the flame. So to, but I can see that's got a good char on it. Oh, oh, oh. I'll get it. <laughs> yeah, so I think they're done. Whoa! <laughs> Just got a wee bit overzealous with that one on the top. It's fine. Bit of a shame that we overcooked them to start with, but I reckon they're going to be good. Look at the colour on them. What have we got? What colour was? Oh, no, that's all right. Looks pretty damn yeah. good. Yeah. For a couple of amateurs. Well, this guy's an amateur. One's a little bit. A little bit overdone, the thin one, but the, the thick still one's actually okay. Yeah. It's still got a perfect patch. Yep. It's unfortunate when you get two different steaks. Oh my god, it's <laughs> so smoky. Right, I'm going to do a taste test. I'm going to do a taste test. What do we got? Oh my god. That was so good. <laughs> Honestly guys, if you get a Komodo, it's really hard to eat steak done any other way. 
even overdone. It was so beautiful. Oh, I'm so gonna go away and enjoy this. Now for the second course, smash burgers. Um, the key to these is being prepared and having the right tools. So you might think we're doing some plastering, but uh, you need a really good sturdy scraper and something to smash them with. So plastering tools are actually perfect. Just taking a little bit to get up to temperature. I like it around about 400 degrees. You need something hot. That's why cooking over charcoal is real good for this kind of thing. 80% beef, 20% fat. Got to have that in your mints. All right, let me get this. Let me get this in my um, head how I'm going to do this. I think we're pretty much there. I'm happy. It burns instantly that butter. Mmm, okay. Rightio, so it's going to be patty on. Squish. Salt. We're all good. We're ready to go. Patty on. Squish. Patty on. No, I don't lock it in that hole. Oh no, I'll get used to it. Good. Oh. Alright, it's alright. It's gonna be a little bit stressful. <laughs> Salt and pepper. One of those things you've got to be prepared, and it's really good to have someone helping you with all the buns in there, eh? So you've got to eat quick. I feel like we haven't managed to get the buns perfected yet, so always overcooking them. <laughs> yes, yeah. 
Place like it's an absolute curse. And then the plate will break the plate. Place like it's a plate. Place like it's a So basically you just shut everything off and that'll go out and that cold charcoal will be good for next time. Through the... What do you reckon? <laughs>